Good evening. We wish you wonderful, beautiful group of people. And of course, we say people, not humans, since not all in this room are humans, but you know and have suspected that. Every one of you who says, I feel like an alien, ha <laughs> surprise, you are. But this is good, this is good. It's good for aliens to have times, experiences as a human. You know, when you come from an evolved, very light nation where there's great purity, to have the opportunity and the courage to come to this very dense, intense environment, it gives you great abilities that you otherwise would never have gained. Understand this, honor your troubles, your sacrifices. They are difficult now. When you return to your soul, you will be very happy. And we sent some of you saying, what? Why would I do this to myself? And uh, we feel a little uh, surprise or hostility by our comment, but we say this is true. Think about when you have taken on any challenge that has been onerous, has been very difficult, at times has made you distressed, but when you complete the challenge, you have great pride and evolved skills your entire life on this planet. In fact, your many lives strung together, whether you are of human origin or elsewise, is indeed such a series of challenges. This makes sense, no? Yes? Thank you, we hear one brave soul. <laughs> so everyone else is somewhat confused. You do not understand? Does this make sense? Yes? yes. Ah. We tell you the one called Mary the Brave, Mary the Bold, is standing over there and she is laughing at this. She says, you want to know a shit life? Look at my husband's. <laughs> <laughs> We don't speak that way. They do. They're the young scallywags. <laughs> so, now that we have broken the ice, we would like to talk to you about your perspective. Did you know each and every one of you in this room is a little bit self-centered? You see all of your reality from your perspective outward. This is normal. This is natural. Don't worry. This does not make you a bad human. It just makes you human for this life. So let's shift our perspective. Imagine you are one of us and at all times you can connect with anything and everything. It shifts your perspective because nothing is about self. Everything is about the subtle, tiny details of oneness. Do you understand this? But you know, we of the Akash, your beloved angels, your darling light beings, all of your dimensions, all of your collectives, all frequencies, you know we were once created just like you. There was a time when we did not exist. We use that word time loosely. It's better to say there was a situation where we did not exist. For the ones who created us, who created dimensions, frequencies, 
non-physical existence. We are dense and difficult compared to those who created us, who created your beloved male and female God, S. There are those that we look to for our worship and hope to aspire to be like them. Just as you wish to aspire to be like us, not us, us, the general us, the light beings, the angels, the kind loving beings who only exist in the purest state. You are very dense and dark compared to us. We are very dense and dark compared to where we came from. And that place, those beings are very dense and dark compared to those who created them. It makes you think, does it not? Thank you for your courage. Yes. So if you look upon your life from within you out, all you see is the densest, darkest, most difficult energy in all of creation. It takes great courage and perseverance for those of you to incarnate again and again in this. There are many who could not. Why do you think we are your guides and not walking beside you in another flesh form? Because we would lose ourselves. We would go insane, which we would enjoy when we were done. There are times when benevolent, non-physical beings have tried to incarnate in Earth, thinking to become great leaders and healers. And then they go insane and create great trauma. So we tell you, we of the non-physical have great respect for you of the physical. You do what we cannot, but we can help, we can lead, we can mentor. That is our role. And it gives us great pleasure to do so. So as we shift your perspective, we tell you, ah, that's so much better. We think we will create a, what do you call, chain of reaction here. Uh, we shift your perspective to a higher state where you see you are one part of a great state of being. Who here is familiar with a mandala? Yes. You know, a mandala is a living energy network. Everyone and everything is connected. So when you feel happy, you are sending energy of happy around the planet. When a hundred people feel happy, they are sending even more. We encourage you, even with all the difficulties on your planet, to please find as much joy as you can. This is very, very helpful. Of course, you do not laugh at someone who has just fallen in a mud puddle, unless it's on a movie. You put out your hand to help them with kindness. Kindness also heals your planet. Benevolence, joy, love, these heal your planet. You know when you walk in a room and you see a group of people who are happy and on the other side of the room, you see a group of people who are angry. You walk to the group that you feel most connected with. If more and more people walk to those who are happy, 
the angry people at the other end of the room will either leave the room or become infected with happy. It is the way that nature flows. So the more you allow yourself to feel happy, the more you are helping the planet to feel happy. And there are those who really, really need it. When you hear of all the distressing things happening on the planet, yes, you feel compassion, but we tell you, you have two choices that are useful. The choice one is to do something about it, even if it's a small thing. And the choice two is to be happy, even though there is misery occurring in the planet. Do you understand this? Yes. So, of course, you do not wish to be like the people in their ivory tower having fun while the world crumbles around them saying, oh, we're doing our part. We're having a party and no one else is invited in our ivory tower. Of course, that is not what we mean. You go forward, you go forward and you help others. You go forward and you smile at people. You go forward and be a kind, loving, gentle human being. This is very helpful. If you see that there is an issue and you know you cannot go there to physically help and you don't have much money, you can post on social media, you can even send one or five dollars if you have it. You can raise awareness of issues, but not, is this terrible what's happening? But hey, I found a way we can help. These are very useful. If you cannot help a cause dear to your heart, then help a cause that is in your neighborhood. Do you understand? Volunteer work is always good. If you do not have time for volunteer work, ask the organizations you wish to help, could they give you material to promote their volunteer work? There are always little ways. And we do not say, if you are working hard and you have no time for yourself and you are exhausted, that you need to add another responsibility. What we are saying is spread awareness of solutions spread awareness of love, spread awareness of kindness. Many of you already do this. All of you already do this and you know how it makes you feel very good. And when you are feeling good, you are spreading energy that helps others to feel good. If you have a wound on your left arm, your right arm does not say, oh, that's the left arm, sucker. I don't need to do anything. You know, your right arm, your entire body knows we must heal this wound because it is part of this person or that person. You are one being, not just separate limbs and organs. It is the same within your town, within your country, within your planet, within your solar system, within your galaxy, within your universe, all frequencies, all dimensions, all of these were created by your God and goddess. They were created as an experiment, a very good experiment. Can something be that physical and still return to good. If something has total free will, what will happen? Do you know free will? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we like this one. Free will is a volunteer position. You do not have to have free will. Your race of beings chose for it. When you have free will, you can make any choice and then you learn from the consequences. But there is a great healing happening. 
just as if the left arm is wounded, the right arm will take ointment and bandage. All through the frequencies, the dimensions, all through there is a great healing happening. You don't feel it so much here because you are among the densest, darkest places, but in the lighter places, it is happening. And soon it will come for your beautiful galaxy and your planet. So you can help prepare by knowing goodness, happiness, love, and joy are inevitable. And you will be rescued. This we promise. Now, how many humans will be alive when you're rescued? We don't know. But your planet will be rescued and some humans will be alive. So the more goodness you bring, the more humans will be alive at the moment. The souls will still be there though, which is okay. Does this make sense? We know we speak of very etheric issues. So you imagine you are one body, both arms are connected to one body. And you know that you are connected to those you love. And they are connected to those they love. So you are connected by energy to those who love those you love. And as everyone loves someone, and everyone is loved by someone, everyone on your planet is connected. Be you a bug, a human, a bird, a worm, it does not matter, a tree, a water, it does not matter, you are all connected as one living being. And your planet is connected to your galaxy, your solar system, to your galaxy on out. Everything is connected. So you see yourself as an individual independent human being, you are. At the same time, you are one tiny cell of another living being, which is everything. And we see that you are the wound on the left arm. So we are coming with the ointment and the bandage. It is your job to keep the gangrene at bay while we come forward with the medical team. And we are coming, we promise you. Do you understand this? Do you have questions about this? We take that as a no. <laughs> Do you have questions about anything? Wonderful. Again, we like this one. What questions may we answer? Well, I haven't thought of the question. Ah, uh, well, you are on a good path. We see great goodness coming for you. Hmm. We appreciate the curiosity between the two of you who are married here. You counterbalance each other. If either of you were alone, you would go down some research streams that would take you to ridiculous places. You help each other to stay in a platform of reality. Is this not true? This beautiful chocolate couple. <laughs> I, I would agree with the description you gave of what our support does for each other. Without when one, yes, when one has vision, the other one has grounding. You switch back and forth. This is very good. Very good. You have very good paths ahead of you. We'll invite you over. We are often with you. Good. We record everything you do. Not 
Not like what snooping Pete way. Not that way. So I got curious. Um, is the whole record already written? Oh, we like this question. You know, you live in a linear timeline by choice. Anytime any of you wish to step out of your linear timeline, and many of you have, then you do not need to stay so linear. And you can look at the multiple timelines occurring all around you and say, oh, I like the way I'm doing it that way better and pull it into this one. That will change everything. Is time already occurred? Is your future in your past? In a way, yes. Imagine time more as a mosaic that can change any moment you wish it to. Does that make sense? So you have already lived many futures. Which one you want this timeline to go into will be your free will choice. You can call them to you. You can meditate and visit all of your futures and see which one you like the most and then resonate with that one. But then you would have little surprise, right? <laughs> Then you're more like an actor performing a play night after night, twice on Sunday. That would not be as much fun. But yes, you have already lived your future, but you are also recreating your past. Just not necessarily at this moment. Does that answer your question? Or are you more confused than when we started? Well, I'm in the process of fitting your words and message into my existing belief system. That is perfect. We do not ask anyone change your belief system. After all, after you die, you get all the answers. So you may as well enjoy the questions while you're alive, right? We wish to talk to the young ones for one moment. We wish to tell you we honor your courage, your insight, and to tell you both there are wonderful, wonderful opportunities waiting for you. As your life goes forward. And we wish to tell you anytime you're unhappy in your life, can change your path. Just keep going forward to adventure and honor your heart's desires. In this room of extraordinary people, we have these two very brave, courageous, adventurous, younger people here. You have not even tapped your potential. There are many wonders calling to you. Both. We tell you this. Do not lose heart. You will have a lot of fun. And you will be surprised with how people look at you in the future. And they say, Oh, my word, you are extraordinary. You are magnificent. And you will appreciate it so much as you remember a time in the past when you did not feel that way. And these people will say to you, hear us now, they will say to you, you don't know what it's like to have self-doubt. You don't know. You can't imagine what it's like to be us. And you will say, yes, yes. 
and let me help you so that you can release your self-doubt. And you will both know many wonderful techniques for this. You will inspire many people. Do you understand this? Good. Do not lose faith in yourselves. You both have powerful, powerful mentors, protectors, guides, but you need to call on them. All of you, call upon them. Do you know what it's like to go to work and no one will let you do any work and you just sit there doing nothing all the time while I'm watching everyone else work? This is what you do when you are not using them. They are so bored. Use them. Please. They're asking you, they're begging you, please. They are here to help you. And you do not let them. No, 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 I can do it. They watch you struggle. They're like, I could have helped. And you're like, no, 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 no. Invite them to help become their friends. Talk with them. Get to know them. Ask them to help you. And you will be amazed in the wonderful ways they can help your life become more coherent, cohesive, easier. All your quandaries can disappear. Would that not be nice? That would be nice, right? Right. And they would not be bored. You take a guardian angel, put it in a cage, and stick it in a corner. Shame, shame. Use your guardian angel to manifest wonders and delight into your lives. Do you understand this? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Let the angels out to play. They yeah. love to play. Are the angels going to help with such mundane things? Absolutely. Absolutely. They love to help with everything. They are not physical. So they will not pick up money and bring it to you. But they will bring business to you. They will, they will always find ways so long as you give them free reign, give them free will. You tell them, angels, we need to pay our bills. <laughs> Bring us money so we can pay our bills. They will find ways for that. How about angels? I want to not be trapped in the rat race. I got the race. Mm -hmm. um, so you solve my economic woes so that I can be happy and straight up. You say, angels, I want to be free. I want to have fun. I want all restraints released. Now, be careful or the next thing you know, your building has burnt down. <laughs> <laughs> you see, we are very funny. No, you tell them what you wish. If you ask for money, it's hard for them to help you because they do not understand money. But if you ask them for reliable employees, or if you ask them for many customers, or if you ask them for uh, free marketing for your business. Or freedom. Freedom. You said, that, you said that a minute ago. Yes, freedom is always good. Always good. If you tell them you wish to be released of this business, correct? then you would want the perfect situation where someone takes your business and you are free, correct? So you tell them that. We want the perfect situation where someone gives us cash and we give them the key to the shop. They can help with this. But you must listen to them when they talk to you. When they give you advice, you listen to them. You can talk with them. Why that? You can ask them. Never follow anyone blindly if you don't understand. Always ask. But yes, they will help you. 
and they will bring their friends to help you. The angels say, we don't understand real estate, but these trolls do. You go, oh my word. Trolls with calculators are in my chocolate shop. Trolls are excellent. Yes. yes, they will help you. They will help you. We see you do not wish your life's work to disappear, but you do not wish to be the one doing the work. They will help you. And you wish for more money so you can take vacations, correct? Well, I wasn't actually wishing for more money. I'm happy with where I'm at. But you want vacations. Oh, of course I want vacations. There you go. We feel your sense of adventure. Yes, you ask your angels, here's the situation. Here's what I have now. Here is what I would like to have. Can you help me? Please help me however you can. And you give them free will. They will help you. But always let them know what you want, not just what you don't want. Or they will bring you what they think you want. And you go, angels, this isn't what I want. And they go, all this angelic work, and they're not happy. So let them know what you have, the situation that is causing distress, and let them know what you desire, what would bring you joy, they will find a way. But keep talking with them all day. When you wake up, when you go to sleep, chat with them. They're not your servants. They are your friends who are helping you. Gratitude, that is how they are paid. And they also love adventure. Helping you is their greatest adventure. On your planet, you have multiple frequencies of Earth vibrating in the same physical space, but each Earth is completely different. This is where the fairies who live on Earth come from their frequency in to say hello to you. When you are children, young children, it is easier to see through the frequency to the other ways your planet is. This is why small children see the fairies and the adults think they're playing with invisible, silly friends. Part of healing your planet is inviting the other frequencies to connect with your frequency. Your frequency is the most ill frequency. When you invite the healthy frequencies to vibrate in and become one, then you increase the health and well-being of your planet. You have heard of the Noah's Ark, correct? Well, we tell you, many of the beings you mourn who have perished from your planet, not shame on you in this room, but shame on you humans, they are alive and well in other and their soul collectives are very happy and well. As you invite the other frequencies of Earth to vibrate with your Earth frequency, you are doing extraordinarily healing behavior, and you are taking us to a future that we hope for a place where humans and all beings and fairies and yes, the trolls who are more fun than you think they are and 
you know, the Sasquatch that was mentioned before, and they are here with you now, but you do not see them. If your frequency, wonderful. If your frequency and their frequency were in harmony, then all beings would be on your planet at once and your planet would be healed. So how do you help your planet to make this happen? Wonder to yourself, what is the frequency of a fairy realm? And see if you can connect with it. We will give you a hint. It's very light and happy. So as we said, if you are happy, you are healing, correct? Right. If you are happy and you are healing, it helps to bring the fairy realm closer to this planet. Would that not be more fun? That would be more fun, would it not? Yes, yes. Yes. yes, that would be more fun. And unicorns, rainbows everywhere, clouds of many colors, the rain that goes up as well as down because gravity, ugh, you only have it one way. It can be many ways. In other dimensions, gravity is many ways. You can have houses that are built from plants at your request. You do not need to destroy land and do construction. You ask a meadow, can you help me build a home? And the meadow builds you a home and they're lovely. You can walk through air. You can bring crystals from raindrops. Oh yes, Crystal, that got your attention. <laughs> you can turn raindrops into crystals. Would you like that? Yes, yes. So play with your frequencies. Play with the frequencies of your home to see what dimensions you can connect with, not dimensions, frequencies. In this dimension right here where you are, there are many, many Earths with many different energies. Did you know that? Yes, yes. So this is our challenge for you. Do you have questions on that? Who in this room has seen other frequencies in this planet? You know, where the air is going wow, 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 and you're like, oh, it's shimmery. It looks like I could step through to some other place, right? Yeah. Yes. Or you're like, was that a fairy? Did I just see a fairy? Right? Right. Yes. Was that a spirit animal? that walked in front of me on the path and then disappeared? Yes. So we challenge you to invite your friends to help you bring the frequencies together so this one way might lighten up. Correct? Yes. Are there any questions? When you were, because no one told you that this was not possible, so you just did. Spend time with the pictures, that always helps. In a way where you will not be arrested for being a predator, do not take someone's <laughs> child. Keep yourself safe. Spend time laughing. Enjoy yourself. You once saw the fairies because you did not know to disbelieve them. Now we tell you they are real. Completely believe. Oh, this one sees fairies. <laughs> yes, fairies love gifts. They love sparkly things and they love adoration. They're very flighty. So give them what they love 
and ask them to fill your heart with fairy magic. You know, there are many varieties of fairies, many species, many, many. How do you connect with fairies? Smell the flowers. Enjoy the air of the outdoors on your skin. Know that if you say to the fairies, I would love to talk to you, when you are ready, please start talking with me, give me a sign. And then you hear a bird sing a song. And your first thought is, well, that's not a sign. Birds sing all the time. No, that was a sign. You ask for a sign, you get a sign. What, do you think they will bring, you know, a team of six horses with dark elves driving down for your sign? No, they contact what is closest to you. So you say, thank you for that sign. You show them gratitude, appreciation, respect, and you fully believe whatever sign they gave you is your sign. And then you say, what can I do for you? What would you like? And you stay quiet and they will tell you, but they may not say to you, oh, eat an ice cream sundae, that would make us happy. They might say that. Then you go eat an ice cream sundae and ask for six taster spoons that you stick in it. <laughs> um, no, they may say that or you never know what, you may just get some thought or feeling or inspiration, whatever you get, honor it and go forward. They may say, go hug that tree, or they may say, uh, watch the sunset. You never know, you never know. But whatever you receive, accept it. Who does it hurt for you to talk to fairies? No one. And who does it help? Possibly your entire planet. So we say, go for it. Being one with nature puts you in connection with all nature beings. There are some here who resonate well with fairies. There are others who resonate well with the beings who dwell in the earth the non-physical, the great wolf spirit, the deep crystalline healing cave. It could be if you're trying to force a fairy relationship, but what you really have is a subterranean crystal relationship. You need to honor what comes closest to your frequency. Don't worry. If you keep going, keep going. Eventually the fairies will show up as well. And if you start with No, animal spirits will come forward. It doesn't matter where you start, except if you start with a frequency that's closest to your senses, to your comfort, you will move a little quicker with this. Does that make sense? We are going to step aside now and invite our young friend to talk with you.